Welcome to Pace IT's Career and Entrepreneurship Presentations. My name is Mary Keeney, and this presentation covers targeting a job type. We will discuss algorithms, detailed job descriptions, list of skills required, and plans for your dream position. First, we'll discuss the algorithms. Most resumes submitted online are being rejected by algorithms that are designed to look for very specific terms. If you switch industries, you might be using a name for the same type of task that a job you are applying for in the new industry is calling it. These phrases, might, these phrases and titles might be different, in which case when the program reads your resume, it will not pick up on the type of task and therefore you will not get any points for it. Therefore, knowing the right terms, the type of skills required, and the job description in detail is very crucial to passing the first gatekeeper, which is the computer program. The second filter you will be going through is usually a human recruiter who does one thing. Out of the resumes that pass the algorithm test, they will then match keywords that are given to him or her by the hiring manager. They'll match those keywords with the ones from your resume. These recruiters literally screen the resumes. They don't read the whole thing. They check to see if all or most of the keywords they are searching for are in your resume or not. If they are, then your resume will then go to a hiring manager. This becomes the third filter. The hiring manager will actually read your resume, not just look for keywords. The resume should address all or most of the requirements listed in the job description. If they like the resume, they may ask you to do a phone screening to find out if you are still interested. In reality, what they want to hear is how you present yourself. Are you arrogant or polite and courteous? Did you answer the questions or just dance around them because you didn't have an answer for it? Basically, they want to make sure that before you are recommended to the hiring committee, that you are worthy as a candidate and as a person and as a professional. This is why you have to be prepared and remember the job description, the requirements, and the criteria they are looking for. The phone screening is also a great opportunity to insert some comments or ask a question that shows you've researched the company and are familiar with the industry. You also want to do a skills inventory. If you apply for your dream job but you still lack one or two skills from the job description, you can talk to the interviewer about how to how you plan to acquire the skill and tell them about the specifics of the plan. Say you are missing skill X but you have a plan to acquire it within a certain amount of months starting on a specific date. You can also ask them if they think that that's a good plan uh, for the work you'll be doing in the future or if they could recommend something else. You want to create a closing skills gap plan. For example, if the job requires you to be fluent in C Sharp, a programming language, then your plan would look something like the one on the screen. You would have a description, the estimated time to learn the basics, estimated time to reach an advanced level, where you can take the classes, the cost, how you're going to pay for it, where you can start the first level, sorry, when you can start the first level, and the first next steps that you can take right now, such as registering for a class. In summary, we have covered algorithms, detailed job descriptions, lists of skills required, and your plan on how to get a job and bridge those skill, skills gaps. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation today and thank you for watching our video.